A blessed day to everyone. I hope all of you are doing great and fine. Join me today as I will guide you on how you could upgrade and turn the simple transition in PowerPoint to this bizarre shift using the parallax effect. Do not worry, this is just super easy and I will comprehensively teach you how. Before we begin, Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down your thoughts and your suggestions on the comment section below, and do not forget to hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials, hacks, and also PowerPoint giveaways. This is PRTN Slides, and let us now begin. Today, I am going to teach you comprehensively on how you could create a parallax effect just like what I have um, showed to you earlier. So this is the parallax effect that I am talking about. It's literally an upgrade and a level up for the push up transition right over here. So we want to level up and upgrade this kind of simple and plain transition using the parallax effect. Today, I'm going to teach you on how you could create that kind of effect or transition in vertical and horizontal direction. Alright, so let us now begin. We are starting off with our two images, as I have said earlier. Now, the first thing that we, we want to do is just to add first some shadows for this photo. So, on our slide, on our third slide, Let's add a shadow right over here and let's try to use the offset bottom. Just do the same thing here on the fourth slide. If you would like to ask why we are adding shadow for these photos or our slides today, it's because we are trying to create a parallax effect which have like a 3D depth during the transition and you will see it later on. So the next thing that we need to do is to add our content or text for each slide just like what we have here earlier all right so let's add our content here first all right so now we have our content or text at the middle of these slides so i use the color orange for our font today because it will help us to enhance our presentation and will provide a little bit of cinematic style or effect for our presentation later on Alright, so if you will ask what, what is parallax or what is a parallax transition, well, according to Google, thanks to Google, by the way, um, it is a like having a separate layers that will move in varying speeds to create the perception of 3D depth. And in here, the morph transition effect will significantly help us to achieve the parallax transition that we will have later on. And also in which we are trying to create today. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do right over here is that here on the fourth slide, let's copy all of these text and also the images, the image right over here. So let's copy that and paste it here on the third slide. There you go. And move it at the bottom part of this slide. There you go. You should have that kind of format for this slide initially all right so the next thing that you need to do is just to go to picture format and send all of these to the back so hit send backward and select this send to back right now you are currently seeing the shadow of of our first photo right over here and that will help us to have like a 3D depth for our parallax transition later on. Alright, so the next thing that you need to do is to select this photo. And we will move this photo a little bit upward. Probably um, at the half of it, covering the half of this image. Just like this. Alright, so we will just move it a little bit upward until to the half of this image there you go and also let's try to move this text a little bit upward as well there you go and also this small text right over here 
alright? So on your first slide, you should have this kind of format to achieve the parallax transition later on. Next thing that you need to do is just do the same thing actually. Just copy our image right over here and also this text. Let's copy that and paste it here on your second slide. And just position all of these at the top of your slide. There you go. And also, let's try to select this text right over here and just move it downwards. There you go. You should have this kind of format on your second slide. And on your first slide, you should have this kind of format as well. And the last thing that you need to do is just go to your second slide and just add the magical morph transition. So let's just go to transitions and hit morph. So there you go. Now you are currently seeing the parallax effect that we have created. For a better view, let's try to um, hit this slideshow for you to be able um, to see the parallax effect clearly. Absolutely beautiful. So this is the smooth transition that we have created using the parallax effect. This is literally a level up and upgrade that you could use to ace your PowerPoint presentations in the future. Alright, so that's how you do the vertical parallax effect. Now we are moving on to the horizontal direction. This is just also the same thing, but the difference is that um, obviously their direction. So um, instead of putting this photo at the bottom part of this text, I mean on this slide rather, we will just put um, all of these on this side. Okay, so let's try to create that. So for a better view, this is the example that I have showed to you earlier. There you go. So that's the horizontal parallax effect that we will try to create today. Alright, so again, we are starting off with our two slides with ready photo right over here. Same thing, just let's add some shadows for each slide. But um, instead of using this offset bottom, let's try to use this offset bottom right. There you go. And also this um, a photo right over here. Alright, so again, let's add our text right over here. Let's just copy... Um, this content that we have created earlier. Let's copy that. Paste it right over here. And also our uh, also this content. Alright, there you go. For a better um, view and effect, let's try to reposition and rearrange this text. Alright, so I just adjusted the position and also rearranged this text right over here. Alright, so we will just do the same thing. Um, we will just copy all of this text and this image from our second slide. Let's copy that. And we will paste it here on our first slide. Alright, so instead of moving this content um, at the bottom part of this slide, we will put it here on this side for the horizontal direction of our parallax effect. Same thing, we will just send all of this to the back and we will reposition this photo at the back of our main photo or um, our main slide rather. We will cover the half of it and also this text we will just um, reposition it a little bit farther from the left, probably right over here. Alright, same thing. We will just copy this photo and text, copy, and we will just paste it here on our second slide. And instead of moving it at the top of this slide, we will put it right over here on the left side. There you go. And lastly, we will just 
um, insert a morph transition effect here on this slide. There you go. So let's try to um, reposition it again right over here. Alright, so I've decided to position it right over here. Alright, so for our morph transition effect, let's try to increase the duration of it to 3.0. There you go. And now let's try to see what we have created so far. There you go. What a smooth and beautiful parallax effect transition that we have created today. So this is the horizontal transition, as you can see. Very smooth. I am really satisfied from what we have created today. And this is literally a mind-blowing effect for me. So this is the horizontal effect. And also this is the vertical direction of our parallax effect transition for our presentation. It's really satisfying and what a beautiful parallax transition that we have here. And I think this is the end of our video tutorial today. Please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell for you to become updated on our future PowerPoint tutorials, hacks, and also PowerPoint giveaway. And please do comment your thoughts or if you have a crazy suggestions here on PowerPoint, just comment down below on our comment section and we will try to create a tutorial for that. Alright, and I really hope that you've learned something valuable today that you could literally use on your presentations in the future so that, you know, you could make your audiences focus and also receive a wow reaction from them and make them mind blown from your presentation. This is PRTN Slides and may you all have a wonderful day ahead. Keep safe and I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day ahead.